that we sponsor. And if you have the children's offering, we have several groups that get this offering. Today is CBCA. So if you have any extra dollar bills, kids, pick them up and come on up front. I think that's it. Oh, hang on, we got got one more. Just a minute, got one more coming. Okay, all right. You got the last little bit there? Perfect. All right, you guys are gonna need to help me out here. Are you guys ready for this? All right. I am curious if you know some of your body parts. So can you guys all stand up for me? Because there was a kid's song at one time, and I bet you all know it. Let's see if we can do it. You ready? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Can you go faster? All right, let's speed it up. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good, have a seat. I'm gonna ask you some other body parts. At least you know the head, the shoulders, the knees and the toes, right? Can you point to your elbow? Where's an elbow? Right there, right? You got an elbow? Got one on this side too. How about knees? We did, oh, we did knees. Skip knees. Um, how about your ankle? Where's an ankle? That's these down here, right? Those are good. Um, how about your feet? Okay, there's a feet, there's a foot, right? So you're doing great. How about a femur? This part right here, this big bone in your leg, that's a femur. How about your hips? Okay, that's an easy one right there, right? All right, how about uh, the one that Chris broke, the humerus? Where's the humerus? This big bone right here. Yeah, it's not quite your funny bone, but it sounds like it should be. All right, you guys are doing pretty good on those. Do you know where flanges are? Flanges. Those are your fingers. Isn't that fun? There's all kinds of body parts that we could talk about. I've got one here. Actually, I don't know if you guys have ever had one of these done. Um, I like to roller skate. And I was ninth grade or so roller skating, and I was just getting pretty good at roller skating backwards. Have you ever roller skated backwards? I mean, you just start going, and you, you can do it pretty good. And we were at the roller rink, and I turned, and I saw, oh, there's a kid on the ground. Okay, I'll just turn this way. I didn't know that two kids had collided. There was one right behind me. 
And I went straight down, and I heard a crack. And I got up, and I had to pick my hand up with it. I skated over to Mom. I said, I think I broke it. She said, oh, show me. I opened my hand, and it kind of fell. She closed my hand back up really quick. She says, you just hang on to that, sweetheart. <laughs> I think we need an x-ray. I think we didn't even need the x-ray. We already knew it was broken, but we had headed to the emergency room. Have you guys ever had an x-ray done yet? Yes? Yes? Okay. Well, we were talking body parts. Hmm. You know, we can look at the outside, and we can see people, right? We can see that they're beautiful and great, but sometimes a doctor needs an x-ray. Why does he need an x-ray? He can see the inside too, right? Whether it's broken or not. So Clary loaned me this x-ray. Mm. Can you look at that and see if you can figure out the body part? Oh, what do you think? You think it's called the pelvis. Where would your pelvis be? Yeah, your hip area, right? And can you tell what this part is right here? Yeah, coming right down the back. Isn't that cool? You can see an x-ray, and you can see inside the body. They can do all kinds of CAT scans now. They can do all kinds of things to see in the body. Sometimes, though, can you see a person and know what they're like from looking at their outside? Pastor's going to be talking about two cities, and I kind of know where we're headed on that one. Um, but if you have two people here, and you are looking at those two people, can you tell who's the kind one? Oh, maybe they're really, really pretty and gorgeous. Would that one be the kind person? Maybe they're just, just normal, everyday looking person. Could that one be the kind one? Samuel had to go, and he was going to go choose a king. Remember that story? When he went to anoint somebody? And God gave him some pretty good words of wisdom. It's found in 1 Samuel 16. And... The Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature because I have refused him. That must have been one really good looking person, huh? For the Lord does not see as a man sees, but the Lord looks at the heart. Aren't you glad God can see your heart and see that you love him or care for him? When maybe somebody looks at the outside of you and puts you down, God knows what's in your heart, and he knows what he wants for you guys. So be kind, be loving, let all those things stream out of your heart so that you can show up for God, because it doesn't matter what your appearance is. It matters your character on the inside, who you are. You can head back to your seats. I want to invite a very special family to come up on the stage here. We're having a baby dedication today. And anybody in the family that's here today can come on up or you can stay in your seats wherever you're most comfortable. But we do want to make sure we get some good pictures.